Hi, Jess here from nigeza.co.uk and today I'm here with a project that I designed for a blog hop that I took part in uh, yesterday uh, for um, Inspiring um, and that's a group of us um, that are all in the um, Poodles team um, that have got together and are doing sort of monthly blog hops and the theme of this month was Fancy Fold. So I have done a fancy fold card and this is a what they call a never ending card. Um, so you've got basically four faces of a card. So we've got celebrate, amazing you. OK, and it just goes round and round and round it goes and where it stops nobody knows okay so love this could do it for hours and it is really easy to make so stay tuned and i'll show you how i did it okay so to make the card you need um four pieces uh four rectangles that measure um five by two and a half you can make this you can resize it as long as your width is exactly half your length so you could do um, six by three you could do eight by four I guess you could do ten by five um, that would be quite a big card um, so uh, so that's what you need and each piece is scored at one and a quarter from from each end and what I did was I cut five and five squared scored at one and a quarter uh, at each end and then just cut it in half and that's how I did it and then you just need to score and burnish each of these score lines fold and burnish not score and burnish So that's it so we've got our four pieces like that and you're going to lay two facing down and then these are going to attach at 90 degrees okay and you're going to put adhesive just in the four corners and you only have to come halfway so i've done a little diagram and all of this will be on my blog so you're going to put adhesive on these four corners here um, down to the one and a quarter over to the score line so it's just on the squares okay so We're going to make a mark. I'd already marked that one. So we're going to make a mark one and a quarter up. I'm just going to use a pencil and with my ruler, I'm going to measure one and a quarter. I'm just going to put a little line there so I can see it. And that's where I'm going to put my glue. I'm going to use Tombow just because I want a bit of wigglage. Um, so I'm just going to go round in a square where those lines are. It will ooze to the end. I'll draw my pencil. I love this card, it looks so complicated, but actually, easy peasy lemon squeezy to make. So then, with this going in the opposite direction and the folds scoring in the opposite direction, you just want to match it perfectly, which is why I chose Tombow. 
so that I can get it perfectly in place. And then this one should then be easier because if you match them up together, that should go to those corners nicely. Oh. done it the wrong way round, didn't I? Did you notice? Stick it down again. That's why I use Tombow. Doesn't matter about that glue because I am putting mats on there. So that'd be alright. And then they should stick down to the bottom. I can turn it round now. And they should butt up and stick in place. And that is about as complicated as making this card gets. There we go. And then it will fold and then when you first fold it, just use your bone folder to help the folds. It does help if you haven't glued that side. Again that way. And again, use your bone folder to help the folds. And then you should be fine. And then the more times you go around really helps if you haven't done that. And then it will just then go and that's why it's called a never ending card. And then it's just a matter of decorating it however you want it. Okay so then you've got that I'm choosing to be my first face that is going to be my second, turn it around that way, that will be my third and then finally that will be my fourth and then we'll be back to the beginning. So it's important to decide um, how you want it to be uh, for when you're decorating. Okay, so I've made myself a little sort of template so and I've marked it that that's number one, that's number two. That's number three and that's number four. And then I've chosen my designs based on that. Okay. Um, and to decorate this, I am using um, the Celebrate You Thin Lits, which are uh, free um, with a £90 order during celebration. And I am going to use the Eastern Medallions um, Thinlets. I'm going to use some of the stamps from the Eastern Beauty and a bit of the Eastern Palace um, Speciality DSP. Okay, I think I've been using so much of the new spring summer I'm forgetting about the annual catalogue and this still remains one of my favourite things in the annual catalogue. Okay, so to cut the mats um, for each of the faces, uh, for face one, this one, you are going to need two mats that are two and a quarter by two and three eighths. This is all going to be on my blog, so no worries about writing it all down and the blog link will be directly below. Um, and then you need um, four of uh, one inch by two and a quarter in the DSP.
and that's what you need for that and then I have cut out of dapper denim the celebrate which is going to go across the middle and then we'll just chop it at the center piece so that half is on one side and half is on the other and we're going to decorate that outside okay so that's mat number one and then for mat number two we are going to have two squares of two and a quarter by two and a quarter to go on there we're going to have four pieces of uh, two pieces of DSP that's one inch by two and a quarter to go on these two sections here and then four little one inch squares for each corner and then these are going to all get um, decorated with the stamp set and make them look pretty okay so that's face number two face number three is this one and I've cut um, a bit like the first face I've cut uh, two and a quarter by two and three eighths so that that will meet in the middle and just have a mat around the top and the two sides and I've cut the amazing and I'm going to have that going across the middle um, as well and I'll just chop it slightly in half and then we've got little squares in each one of these which I'm going to stamp to decorate and then the fourth face is going to have two squares in very vanilla that is two and a quarter by two and a quarter and then four DSP mats um, for each of the sides which is one each by two and a quarter and then we will be decorating okay I say all the measurements down on my blog uh, just click on the link and you'll see them so let's start having the fun so in order to do this we want to uh, decorate um, these pieces that are going to get stuck on here so we're using some of the decorative elements um, in here and we're going to use that corner piece so with some dapper denim uh, ink we are going to uh, stamp into the corners I'm going to get my stamping mat here because they're photopolymer and although I'm on my grid mat um, I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra cushion and make sure I got the right way so just going to put that in the corner and I'm going to put it in that corner as well Like so, and then I'm going to put it in the corners on the opposite side just to give it a slight bit of a frame. Like so. And then I'm going to add a bit more because that's still quite plain. Just give my stamp a bit of a clean. And I'm going to use the little dots. So we've got these three dots and I'm going to have them in the centre. Coming out. And then I'm going to do it on the other side to match up. And that's like that and then I'm going to stick this on uh, and then decide if I need any more so let's stick this together so I'm going to use some Tombow so I've got wigglage so I'll just do some glue and stick that so it's on the edge but with a margin 
top and bottom. Same on the other side. Want it to sort of match that side. There it goes. Whilst I'm about it, I'll stick these down. I thought this would make, using these colours, a nice masculine card. Of course, you can change the colours up, change the paper you use, and make it more female or generic. And celebrate amazing you. Could be for birthdays, anniversaries, any occasion uh, that you wanted. There we go. Right, so we're just going to snip that. I was hoping it would go over that smudge, and it has. Absolutely brilliant. So, snips, and I'm going to snip it where that goes like that. So that we'll have the celeb, and then right on that side. So, a little bit of Tombow. on these bits to stick it down. Like so. Gonna get a block. Just to uh, hold that in place whilst I stick this one on. Of course, decoration is purely how you want it. This is just how I wanted to do it. You can take the same dimensions for the mats, but if you weren't putting a, something across like I am here, then I would cut these mats to two and a quarter squared so you've got um, matting all the way around. Now I was going to decide whether or not I was going to add anything else um, to this front um, but I think I might just leave it like that. I was thinking I might do a bit more stamping but I quite like that as it is. So open it up and we're on the next layer. And this one, so as you can see, I've started decorating the, the, the middle of this. Um, so this is just DSP like the front. And then the four corners, although I had pre-prepared and cut out the four squares, I want to stamp in the middle. And so actually, um, it was not going quite right. So my advice is to do the stamping first. So we're going to use this stamp from the stamp set. And I'm just going to do four in a row okay and then you can cut them out um, into one inch squares and just to hurry it along I'm using a one inch square uh, punch it's not stamping up um, but I've got it so I'm using it. You may well have a one inch square punch yourselves. If not, you can just cut it on a trimmer or a guillotine, whatever you've got. Okay, so that's my, and that gets them centered so much better than when I tried to um, stamp it on a pre-cut one. I even did it on both sides. 
and uh, it didn't work very well. So that's that's that. Okay, and then to decorate uh, the other piece, I am doing this on a on an already cut one. I'm using the fancy square that's in the stamp set. So this one here um, is shown smaller on the front of the stamp set than it actually is. And this go nicely in the centre of that square. And then I'm going to use another scrap of um, faux vanilla, which I did have to hand. There we go. And I'm going to stamp this again. You can see where I've done the other one. And that's all me stamping. And I've got the um, one and one eighth of an inch um, scallop punch. That's in the new um, spring summer catalogue. And I'm going to use the die from the Eastern medallions. This one that goes and sits inside this square. So I'm going to cut that out and come back to you. So there we are. I've cut this out. Now this die actually stays in the. Um, I'm putting it away because I do lose them. Stays in the um, the cardstock because you could then cut it out. Um, with this one um, and this cuts it right out and you've got quite a nice sort of pretty pattern there but I don't want that so I am going to just take my paper snips and you can just I'm just going to fold these up a tad because you like them folded up a bit and it is easier to do it whilst it's still attached and then you can go in with your snips and you just snip there where they meet need to clean my snips there we go and then that's how you do that and then with a bit of Tombow I am just going to put some Tombow on the middle of that and then that will stick Move it slightly. Oh, I use Tombow for wigglage. There we go. Oh, and now it's wiggling when I don't want it to. There we go. And then I just put a bit of Tombow on the bottom of this to stick that in the middle. And I'm doing it so that the bigger points are forming the up and down. And then I'm going to put some on the back and then glue that in place here. And then I just need to glue these four corners down, a little bit of Tombow and I shall glue all the corners down. I'll carry on with that and come back. Okay so that's those four sides all done. So we've got the first face, the second face and then this comes the third face. Now what I forgot when I was designing this is that you would see those halves there. Now it was in the template because I put numbers um, but when I opened it, I did have number three written on here as well to remind me that I would actually see that. So whereas my design was to put um, um, mats, two square mats, obviously I can't. So I'm changing my dimensions slightly um, and I will, of course, be changing those um, on my blog. Well, I haven't written my blog yet because I make it first. Um, so um, to to correspond to the to the right um, 
dimensions. I'm going to do the four corners in exactly the same way as I did these four corners. So they're going to be stamped on and cut out, but I'm going to revise what I'm doing there. So just excuse me whilst I cut those bits now. Right, so I cut these two bits at um, two, uh, one and three, one and three eighths by two and a quarter, so that it still touches in the middle, um, which was my intention in with the original idea. And then just so that it sort of matches up um, with the way. I did uh, the panel on the front. Um, we are just going to uh, decorate these a bit using the same uh, stamps that we did before. So I'm going to do four corners and then um, dots as before. So. Just me little dots. Did do bigger in the middle. Yep. There we go. That's the stamping done. And then all that remains is the sticking. Just going to give this a clean because with them being such small stamps, it did go over the edge. And I don't want to end up in an inky mess. So I'm just going to put some Tombow around the edges. And up the middle, and we'll stick that on the one side, butt it up next to that one, like so, and the same for this one. I'd actually done this to stick the other way. No worry. We will just wiggle a bit until it's where we want it. And then the amazing is going to stick across the middle and it will overlap slightly to where the pattern bit is. Um, so it will be seen a little bit um, in the previous um, turn on the, uh, I might just do this this way. Stick this side down first. Put that there. My adhesive remover will get rid of all those glue lines. I am going to take my snips, which we're adding, and I will snip that up there, and then stick it back down so that it matches across there. Like 
like so. So that's that face done. I'm going to just take a little block and put that across there whilst I clean my gluey mess up. So a bit cleaner. I find um, hand sanitizer um, works fairly well um, for getting um, the um, Tombow off. And then this side I am going to decorate with, I've got four bits of DSP to come down on each of the sides and I'm going to decorate the top panel in the same way as I did the other uh, square panels using um, the die cut and the circle and then I will come back to you when we're decorating the U panel. So I've done that one like I did before and then when I stamped um, this fancy square um, I thought, oh, I wonder if the U fits in it. And it does. So I decided to go with that uh, for the U. Um, to, to just do it a little bit differently instead of doing it the way um, that I've done the other ones with the corner pieces and the dots. So all i got to do now is stick this down. The U is a little bit thicker so it's easier to apply. Tombow. And I'll just stick that across the centre like so and then stick it down and as you can see I use this on a different card. Don't like to waste my card stock and you can't see what was previously stamped on the back. So it's good for another card. And that's it. So once you turn this out, you're back to the beginning. So celebrate. Amazing you. Celebrate. Amazing you. A never ending card. And then you can stand it up on that. So it will be stood up like that and you can slightly see that on the inside. So that's my never ending card. Hope you like it. All the details will be over on my blog, najeza.co dot uk and i hope you've enjoyed um the the blog hop um if you didn't um know about the blog hop then when you click on the link below um uh it will they'll be linked to the blog hop and so you can hop around and everybody um in the blog hop have done fancy fold cards so it's worth a look to see the different styles of fancy fold uh, cards. Okay, thanks for joining me. See you again soon. If you want to buy anything, if you want any of the, this, these lovely free um, dies uh, that are available in celebration, then um, just uh, either click on the link below that will take you directly to my shop or go on my blog and you can get to it that way. Okay, see you again soon.